Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. You see the thumbnail. I had to come down to the YouTube and talk about Miss Nika, honey. She down there cooking once again. I'm gonna do two videos in one. First of all, I had no idea. I must have missed the video. I thought she had a truck. I knew one of them was broke down, but I wouldn't have never guessed with that large of a family that she was driving a regular sedan. Honey, she must have been storing their trash in the old truck in the backyard down to the trailer park. Honey, I mean, it was a ton of trash. Hey, it looked like the landfill out there. So she gets it in her head to load all the trash up in the car she had papa one of them put a sheet on the seat so they load up about 10 or 12 bags of trash in the car and take it down to the dump and i'm thinking i'm looking around i was like she live in a rural area the trash people don't come out there now i know you got to pay i know that's how it is here in tennessee once you get outside to see the limits of course you pay for trash pickup but girl i don't give a damn I'm not loading up all them juices and stuff <laughs> coming out of them garbage bags in the car that me and my children ride around in. Girl, what is that sheet going to do? If anything, you should have split some garbage bags down the middle and laid them across the seat so at least if some juices and gunk and stuff came out, the garbage bags would have caught it. What was that sheet going to do? I said, hon, I know that car is a funky mess. It was already nasty. <laughs> the floorboard had about 12 pair of shoes in it balls and toys and things and i'm thinking oh child this is mm -mm. that's why i would never ever 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 eat anything down from nika house but honey so they rise on to the dump and it was pretty far away so they rise on into the dump dump the trash out of everything and of course she speaking one of the kids out about going outside i think it was king about going outside without asking and she was going to pop his butt if he did it again because anything could happen. Blah, blah, blah. So on to the next video. Honey, every time she showed that kitchen faucet, I be in the flow. So it's still gangster lean and hanging on for dear life. She in there washing dishes before she get ready to cook. So she got the pots of boiling and everything. And here we go. She must have had that blue bonnet butter out and add butter to her water and i mean she told naya i don't know if it was naya who that was put some more butter in there so meanwhile she trying to get the ground beef together she gonna put in there honey y'all know those big logs of ground beef i think they like a pound a pound and a half something like that she was gonna try to stretch that ground beef out and i'm thinking that nika you've been having all this all these children long enough to know 11 people one pound of ground beef is nothing even really truthfully is that even enough girl if you don't go and cook that whole thing of ground beef so honey she played around with the ground beef picking around in it with the bowl garbage pair of fingers of hers so she gonna take some out once she got it in the pan and put it in the refrigerator she said she was gonna use it for tomorrow so i'm thinking whatever what what a meatless spaghetti we cooking here but either, either way, I wouldn't eat the shit. So I'm still waiting around. I was like, she going to chop up some onions, some bell peppers, some put some oregano in there, some garlic powder, onion powder, something at some point. Never did it happen. Honey, the noodles got ready, and she must have got two or three more sticks of butter out, added that to the noodles, poured that old tomato sauce over in that hamburger meat, and you know, a bunch of seasoned salt and sugar so then she puts everybody's place out puts the noodles on there first and then she goes to put the hamburger meat mixture <laughs> on top and i'm thinking now is this how y'all cook down there in south carolina because i don't cook my spaghetti like that everything goes in one pot not to mention i use herbs and seasonings and everything to cook my spaghetti i'm like honey <laughs> The kid said, this is good. I know it's good. Nika said, I know it's good. Mama cooked it. I said, Lord, have mercy. If they ever get a hold to some real down home cooking, they won't know what to do with themselves. So meanwhile, while she cooking, now you're helping everybody get their baths and they hungry as per usual waiting. 
And I was thinking to myself, I said, she has no shame in her game. Or either she's not all the way there. There is no way I would be panning that camera around on my kitchen, on that filthy kitchen, that empty house, giving us an empty house tour. Once again, I don't understand for the life of me how in the world all them people are staying in that trailer. How many bedrooms is that trailer? Does anybody know? Drop down in the comments because y'all know I'm new to her. I just started watching her a few months ago. But I'm trying to figure out not only why do you not have any furniture, at least a sectional. And, honey, you better call Liv's life. She can give you some pointers. You can go down to the Goodwill, uh, down to the Salvation Army, and find you a reasonable, cheap sectional. But you don't give a damn. That's the only thing I can come up with because I saw where you was down to the Timu shopping. So, yeah, your priorities are out of order. But, yeah, yeah, I need somebody that watches her to drop down in the comments and let me know because it just looked like they crammed up in that trailer. You know, we already know some of them sleeping in toddler beds and on pallets on the floor. Here's my thing. If I had a CPS case in the past, there is no way that I would vlog my life like this. I would not give them any room to come in and be effing with me. Oh, and by the way, she had to let it be known with that old faucet. She showed <laughs> the hot water running when she was making some dish water cussing y'all asses out for the people who said she didn't have no hot water now, it was steaming i mean it was steaming but yeah that's not the point and by the way i meant to mention it other day until somebody reminded me in the comments yesterday did y'all see her braiding <laughs> braiding hair sitting on them three or four ties in the corner i was in the flow let the average person to have a cheer she had three or four ties stacked up to make a cheer I just, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't think she has to live like that. I ain't with it. I'm not giving her any passes. That is ridiculous. Because every time she get paid, she be out in them streets, balling out of control. So, no, mm -mm. she can do better. She chooses not to do better. But, yeah, y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about it. I know I got several new subscribers that watch her. And let me know y'all thoughts on it. But I just think it's ridiculous how she just seems to always be addressing the negativity in the comments and everything when in fact you can do better worry about that your priorities are out of order worry about getting a section or worry about getting a bigger trailer more like a seven or eight bedroom girl <laughs> y'all hit a like for you girl and subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you Bye, y'all. I'll call y'all back.